Hey YouTube, it's Crimson, and today we are going to the Renaissance Fair. Today is open day. It's also Father's Day weekend, so I expect it to be busy. Um, look, I've got a tan. I have been in the sun for quite a few days, so if I look extra tan, I totally am. Um, but it is early. I just woke up. I have no makeup on this face. Um, my allergies are irritating me a little bit, so I'm going to try to remedy that as fast as possible. And right now I'm trying to pick out my outfit, and we have like three other people to get ready before we get on the road, which isn't too far. It's probably going to be like, um, I don't give it a good 45 minute drive, which really isn't that bad, because it's really pretty actually driving up there. Lots of greenery and valleys, and it just takes you away from the city. And you actually feel like you're in a whole different world, which I am very excited about. So, let me actually show you guys what I'm thinking about for my costumes. Okay, so I have a giant box of costumes that I was thinking about this one. I have yet to wear this gypsy costume, so I might give that a try on. And then this is the one I usually wear, but I kind of want to change it this year because I've worn this one a couple times. And then here's my belt that I will never not wear to Ren Faire because not carrying a purse is awesome. And this thing was like 60 50 bucks at a head shop. And then I've got this skirt, and it's lace at the bottom, so a little see-through. And I'm thinking about wearing either this black top for like a dark elf thing or one of my pentagram tops here. Probably going to go for the purple one. And this are Killstar items. It's kind of hard to see when it's un unraveled, but here's the layout. Now I just got to figure out which one I'm going to do and get ready. So. Stay tuned. Here we are at the lovely Ren Fair. Hi. It's fantastic. Look at that little girl. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Here's my makeup. Then I got my hair braided. Just caught on my ear at the moment. And I'm wearing my necklace, top, I've got my belt, and skirt and boots, and my sexy part husband, fiance. I have my boots. <laughs> so I'm kind of like a dark fairy night elf. Well, not a fairy, but I'm more like a dark witchy night elf. And then we got the girls in line. Here they come. Megan is like a Ooh, got me a lemonade. wolf, werewolf, lady. Yeah. <laughs> we are at the pirate tent and pirate show. And I just took a picture um, with this lovely gentleman back there talking to the two ladies right here. And um, I always take a picture with the pirates when I get here. Oh, and there's Joe with our shandies, our ye old lining kugels. So we're having a good time. Um, it's overcast weather, which is super nice. Um, and then the gentleman that I took a picture with is going to put me on his uh, page. If I remember it, I will link it below. But um, super nice people here. I love Renfrew every year. We're at the petting zoo. There's llamas over there and a cow. And there's bunnies and goats and chickens. One, two, three, go! <laughs>
Hey, this is uh, Crimson from editing. Um, the first part of this video is going to be from Renaissance Fair open day when I went with my family. Um, and then the next part of the vlog is going to be when I went with my friends on love and romance weekend. Um, so I just wanted to pop in and say that this is two different Ren Fair days in one vlog. Enjoy. Good morning. Hello, YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. So today, my friends and I are going to the Renaissance Festival. Um, I already went on open day with my family, um, my fiance and his kids, which was a blast. And I was dressing, I dressed, I filmed a little bit of that, but I dressed kind of like a night elf in like purple and black, but Today, my outfit is going to be a lot more, like, fairy and light and um, super, super cute. Kind of just your basic, basic wench is kind of what I'm going for. But I wanted to show you the layout of my outfit. Give me one. Aha, here we go. So I got some spandex that, you know, you got to wear under things. And then my foxtails, which I have gotten at the Renaissance Festival in past years. My trusty belt, which holds all of my shit. And it's got pockets on the inside where you can put your cards and everything. Believe it or not, I've held a lot in this, um, which is super awesome. And then I've got my flower crown, which I bought from the Ren Fair when I went in June. And I've got some accessories, my glasses, which I obviously need, and then my friend Bubbles, who I'm going with, she's getting ready, um, picked out this dress, it's very like hippie, beachy, boho, um, and I had bought one on Amazon that just happens to fit her better, so we traded. So I'm really excited to wear this, I think it'll be nice and light, and kind of fit everything and flowy, so... Right now I wanted to show you the before, um, before I do all my makeup, this is me just rolled out of bed and I'm just excited. It's Ren Fair Day, let's have a good day. Checking in at the Renaissance Festival, Bubbles got her skirt which is fabulous, yes, and Miss Allison rocking her gypsy sexy Caribbean vibes. And me looking like a basic hoax, basic bitch, basic wench. Basic wench. And my sunglasses are still on my head, which they live there. I can't help it. I have nowhere else to put them. This is what I look like. Here's my makeup. My little wooden thing. Wooden thing? What is this? Pine? It's a freaking pine cone. Fuck your pine cone. <laughs> Your petrified wood? Here. That is... Ow. Now you can film. Oh, it I was... recording. Oh, okay. I might get another fox so... But... Spin for me! Yes! Crimson is looking fabulous even in her basic wenchness. And it's raining, but it feels fabulous because it's the one year where it's not hot. So, not overly hot. Yes. But, yeah, we're taking a break. We've got a couple hours here. And then the jousting range is right here. Bubbles, show the jousting range. Okay. <laughs> we're going to go look at zoo animals. And maybe buy some more food. Mac and cheese on a stick. I was about to say, say what we're craving. So we'll check in later. Bye! Look at how pretty this shop is. That one looks like a pot. And whipping water. And bubbles. <laughs> yes! I still have my glasses on my head. No shame. I see a blue, I see a green, I see I'm still rocking the basic outfit. I haven't added anything to my outfit. <laughs> and the uh, shillelaghs were expensive, but we'll see. I bought some incense. So it's the uh, Frontier Cottage. I've had it before. It smells really earthy and really good. 
but it's full on raining here now. Yes, look at the new ears. She just bought these gorgeous. Ah, oh my god. Those were like the prettiest ears in the whole shop, too, and they were like 35 bucks, so she scooped them up. Spectacular. Then custom cut for the size. That's so pretty. So, yes, I have done the only one that hasn't added to my outfit, and these girls are rocking all of their flair. So, check in. It's raining. We're going to make a full circle um, right. and do our do final like hour of shopping beans. now, and then we're going to uh -huh. catch the jousting. So, bye. Hey, back. I know. back home from the renaissance festival i have already put my pajamas back on because it's like nine o'clock at night my friends just left um chilling with the uh, mochi she's here doing my little rin fair haul with me so if you'd like to see what i got then just keep watching 
So there was a couple of things that I was going to get um, that I had in mind. And one of them um, was I was going to buy pretty much like a big wooden club, which the girl at the shop said it was a shillelagh, which I believe is like an Irish thing. But um, I really, really wanted one of those. And they were like in the 55 plus range for money, which wasn't necessarily something I wasn't capable of doing, but I hadn't done much shopping yet. So I wanted to like do a whole loop around and make sure that that's exactly what I wanted to spend my money on. Um, I did not end up getting that, even though I had my heart set on it, but you know what? Sometimes you have your heart set on other stuff and plans change, so I'm not really too upset about that. Um, the things that I definitely bought, so I always go to the incense shop every time I go, and I ended up getting this one called Frontier Cottage. It smells really earthy, and I just kind of like incense like that. And I last time I went, I had gotten two packs. Um, this. And I'm almost low on this one, so I wanted to stock up on this, at least get one. Um, the next thing I got, which was um, definitely on my bucket list, which was an incense holder. I had bought one like my first Ren Faire or second Ren Faire ever, and I have like one of the crappy wooden ones that don't catch all the incense on it, like it just gets everywhere in my um on, on my like dresser slash altar space so i did buy another one because i have one downstairs and now i'm gonna have one upstairs um and then i bought this one the one i have um up downstairs sorry is um yellow and it has a b but this one has like these mushrooms on it yeah. there you go you can see it and I like that this actually catches all the incense. Um, these are pretty much handmade at this pottery shop there. And uh, the girl said they're dishwasher safe, so I did not know that about my last one. I will have to make sure to clean them that way if I'm feeling lazy. But this guy is going to go right next to this little mushroom statue that I have upstairs. So it's literally perfect. And I wanted something a little different. So the next thing and pretty much my final purchase of Ren Faire, other than like food and beverage that I'm going to show is in this bag and this before I even show it, there is a store. Um, it's called Fairy Flare Boutique and I believe they have two little locations in at least the Colorado Ren Fair area um, and it's unique one-of-a-kind clothing themes skirts sweater coats tops cover-ups and fairy wings and uh, they do have an online store as well uh, the woman that helped me today I didn't get her name but her birthday is two days after mine so she's a fellow Aquarian like me um, but I go to the shop every um, Renaissance festival and I look and I always want one of their sweaters because I practically live in a hoodie. Colorado's more cold through the year and I mean I just I hate being cold so I'm also a hoodie person. I collect hoodies. I love hoodies. So every year they have these handmade really lots of material just fabulous hoodies with colors and different prints in them and they pretty much stay up with like the hot topics that people like so there's like hocus pocus themed stuff there's hufflepuff and gryffindor and harry potter stuff and elvis and just marilyn monroe i mean there's literally so many things you can think about there's like alice in wonderland um i think there was a star trek thing i saw star wars stuff there so they definitely have like a little something for everybody and even if it's not stuff like that, like there was like one sweater that I almost got that with tarot cards on it. And there was one that was just fun colors. It didn't have any prints or patterns. And I'll show you what I mean by that. And this sweater is very hefty. Um, I might have to find a different spot. Okay, sorry. I'm having difficulty showing off the sweater. The lighting is so crappy and it's nighttime so I can't show you outside. But um, this is the beautiful sweater. I've always imagined myself 
in a black and green sweater and it's got this really long like hood she even tied a little knot in the end for me because it was so long so oh, even though I have my flower crown on but yeah you can use this as a scarf if you wanted so you could wrap it around like that um, since it's so long and then I'm gonna take the hood down Boop. here's the back and then it's got these things which you can tie around the arms so you can kind of make it tighter I haven't tied them and then it essentially ties together like a robe and the whole thing's pretty much black and green minus this orange here in the front so let me tie this it's very warm it kind of feels very flannel and then these and then there is also um, strings up here that you could tie to pull this together more but yeah it's got um, black cats pumpkins moons bats like it's a total like little Halloween vibe especially with the orange in the front little black cats and then the sleeves are kind of shorter so I can fold these up like this if I want they don't really get in my way I like them kind of flopped over because I like baggy stuff um, the hood is just I mean come on it's, it's literally epic and then let me see if I can like so it does twirl a little bit I don't have a lot of room let me see if I show you in the better lighting and I'm back in my dumb bathroom because this is the best lighting I have but let me show you again, so. There's even pumpkins on it, y'all. Like, I love pumpkins. I literally love it. And then, let's see. Whoop. <laughs> Here's the hood. Ooh, in the mirror you can see it too. Ooh, there goes my flower crown. So yeah, that pretty much concludes my Ren Faire haul. Um, I had a wonderful time and I wouldn't have changed this day for literally anything. I am so in love with my sweater which cost entirely too much but I literally wanted one every year since the first time I went to Run Fair which was in like far too long ago. Like 10 years ago? 9 years ago? So yeah. I'm in love. No regrets. No regrets. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video and um, indulging in all of my endeavors, adventures, and weirdness on top of that. But um, it was such a good Ren Fair day, and uh, I'm so glad I vlogged a little bit. It was fun. It rained, but you know what? It was perfect at the same time and I wouldn't change it, and it was fabulous. So if you enjoy this kind of content, this is the kind of stuff that I like to make other than just spooky things. Like the time of year that I thrive the most is um, Ren Fair time and literally Halloween. Like that's, that's pretty much it. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.